Um, I am Candace Freer. I'm the 4-H team leader for Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rensselaer County, and thank you for joining me tonight. Um, just some housekeeping. So if you want to ask a question later on, you can use the chat. But like I said tonight, because it's just me, um, go ahead and unmute yourself and, and interrupt. We're going to watch about um, a 30 minute video on a few different things um, with use, like upcycling ideas to make mask accessories. Um, so it's supposed to be useful, informal, informal and informational. Um, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rensselaer County serves the residents of our county providing research-based education within four major program areas, agriculture, horticulture, 4-H youth development, and family consumer science. Additionally, Cornell Cooperative Extension is part of the state and national land-grant university system and serves as the local outreach program. And I skipped ahead two slides. <clears throat> Our mission statement, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rensselaer County puts knowledge and work in pursuit of economic vitality, ecological sustainability, and social well-being. We bring local experience and research-based solutions together, helping Rensselaer County families and communities thrive in a rapidly changing world. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. Um, Could everybody hear that introduction? If you want to just let me know in the chat, yes or no? I can yes. Hear. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so now I'm going to start the video. And like I said, feel free to unmute yourself if you need me to stop at any point. One more thing. Okay, so we are going to get started on making our accessories for our mask. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is if you have an old pair or too small a pair of kids jeans, some of them have the belt that's inside. Um, we're going to reuse this elastic. So I'm just going to button it here. I'm going to pull it as far as I can before I cut it. So I got a big piece there and I'm going to cut it as close to the jeans as I can and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. <clears throat> So what's nice about this elastic is it has the buttonholes already in there. So we can adjust our mask using those holes. <clears throat> and you can also um, take off the buttons if you want. I do have some other buttons that I'm going to use that are a little bit more fun in color. So I'm not going to reuse these ones now, but it, these are perfectly good to uh, use for this project. You just cut the string off and we can re-sew them on to the elastic. Okay, set those over here. So, things that you're going to need, other things you're going to need. Um, string, button string. Sewing needles. And I have my big bag of buttons. Um, but again, you can reuse the uh, buttons that are on the pants if you would like. So I'm just gonna pick out Two buttons. The important thing is, is you find buttons that fit through the hole if you're using different buttons. So this button right here is just a little bit too big, so I'm going to have to go a little smaller. You can find two buttons that match or two buttons that don't match. It's up to you. If you want to get a little creative here, you can with your buttons. All right. So I pulled a few out. Of course, none of them match. 
So I'm going to choose a blue and a green button. And you can see the difference in these buttons. This one has four holes, this one has two. It doesn't matter which one you use. Gonna get a pin out. You can see me struggle with needling or threading this needle. Let's see how I can I can do it on the first try. <clears throat> Sometimes it's easier if you cut the this end of the thread off and it'll give you a fresh cut nice piece without any frays. Not too bad. <clears throat> when I am sewing with kids, hand sewing, I like to tie a knot in the end so they don't lose it. So how you do that is you take the two ends together, wrap them around two fingers a few times, and then just push it off with your front thumb so it rolls <clears throat> and then you can pull it and it'll give you a nice big knot on the end. Some more experienced sewers might not need this but this really helps so your thread stays together they don't lose the thread um, so they have to constantly re-thread the needle. Okay and what we're going to do is we're going to sew two buttons one on each side. Doesn't matter which side and I am going to sew these on, but I will also share later um, a link to how to sew on a button if you're unsure. The important thing is you want to sew it so it does not fall off. No one's judging your sewing techniques. <clears throat> Don't judge mine. <laughs> I like to go through seven times. An old 4-H leader told me that. So that's what I'm doing. That's how I learned how to sew is in 4-H and my mom. If it's too hard for the kids to push through that double elastic, just have them start their button um, after that fold over ends or cut that part off. And it's a little tough on your fingers pushing it through. <clears throat> my button with my thread <clears throat> and I'm going to push it back through here. And I'm going to do my knot by just going down and back up. And then you get a loop in your thread and you can put your needle through once. I like to do it twice to do a double knot. Pull. <clears throat> and I do this twice usually. So the needle goes down through and back up the same side. You get a nice loop. You go through that loop once, through that loop twice, and pull. <clears throat> okay. So now I have my button on one side. Now this is up to you. You can leave it like this, and what would happen is you're going to make a smaller loop and run your button through here and let me show you with my mask. <clears throat> so we have a nice 4-H mask donated by one of our 4-H volunteers. So you can see I'm doing that and then I'm going to run it back, put the button through here. 
I'm going to use the last hole because this piece of elastic is kind of small. <clears throat> okay, so you can see now it will hold my mask like that. So it's a simple, instead of kids trying to figure out how to get it over their ears, they just have to pull it over their head. Um, this is also a great way if you have a smaller mask to make it a little bit more snug or a bigger mask. Um, or a smaller mask would give you more room or a bigger mask, you can use this technique to um, make it a little bit more snug. It's going to take all of the weight off of your ears here. And like I said, for kids, something up and over their head is so much easier than trying to get it around their ears or stay on their ears. So you can see, try to bring my camera up. So it just lays on top of my head like that there. You can also um, add a button to the second side. So you can have one button here and one button here. This is a good idea if your elastic is small like this one. Um, it allows you to then adjust it um, based on the mass so you get that nice snug fit. Remember we want the mass to be snug around the nose. Um, um, this is especially important for kids that wear glasses, so it's not fogging up their glasses, so it has to be a snug fit around here and around the chin. We don't want any breath getting out or in outside of the mask. Um, so this is a good way to make sure that happens. So um, also, this can be a way to make it a little bit more fun. It's of course hard to just choose one button. So now kids can choose two buttons. They don't have to match. They can be two different colors like this one. Again, you wanna make sure the button though fits through the hole. So make sure you're choosing buttons that do so. Um, you, When you're attaching this one to your mask, it's going to be like um, backwards at first. So it's easiest if you lay down your mask um, outside down. And then loop it through so the button is up. And go through the first hole that you can find. a little tricky and my buttons are a little big for this. And then when I fold it over the button will be on the outside. It's important to have the buttons facing away from the head because if it's on the head um, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. And then you're going to go over the top of the second one and go underneath. So again your button when pushed through the hole will be on the outside. <clears throat> Again, you can put your mask over and just pull it over your head. It takes the pressure off the ears. I still have a nice fit across the top here and underneath, still nice and snug around my chin. Um, and then it lays if you can see that right on top of my head. And it was very easy to get on and very easy to get off um, instead of trying to get it to go over your ears. Um, so that is one mask accessory that you can do with upcycling from a pair of kids jeans or any jeans that have that elastic with buttonhole elastic in there. You also can buy, if you want, um, buttonhole elastic and I had this I have it in black and white to make a few of these first mask accessory oh and it, if I didn't mention you can move these buttons closer if you need a snugger fit or use a longer piece of elastic if you have a smaller mask and you need it to be um, come down a little bit further to give it just a nice comfortable fit. We want kids to be comfortable in their mask because they will be wearing them quite often as we all are. 
The next upcycling idea that I had for a mask accessory is reusing either pacifier clips or suspender clips. So I actually cut these off of a pair of kids suspenders and these ones you push down and then you snap that button and then it does not release so it gives a nice hold and then you have to pull the tab up and it releases there. And what I'm going to do is make a lanyard. And this can be really fun too with upcycling t-shirts. So um, all I did was cut straight across the bottom of a t-shirt to give us this t-shirt band. It's about an inch and a half to two inches thick. My cut is not straight. It is okay because it does not matter. That's fun. This is something that kids can do. Um, if you have a nice pair of scissors, it makes it a little bit easier. And then after you cut straight across, you're actually just gonna pull the t-shirt and it makes this nice cord. What's nice about this type of lanyard is it's just out of t-shirt mater material, so it's nice and comfortable on the kids' necks. It has a little bit of stretchiness, so, um, you know, if they get caught on something, it's not going to, it's gonna have a little bit of give. Um, but importantly, I did a gray one as well. We wanna try to get this at a good length for your kids. So I cut a blue one and a gray one. What I'm gonna do is just tie the ends to my clip and t-shirts tie nice in a nice knot and get it really tight. So I'm going to do blue and then I'm going to add gray just to have fun with some colors. You can use any color t-shirt that you want. So I have my two t-shirts here tied to the suspender clip. And then I'm going to figure out where I want my other suspender clip tied. So you'll have to trim this depending on it. You don't want it too long so then it gets stuck in their food and you don't want it too short so it's right up around their neck. Um, but you want it at a good length so it probably I can take this lanyard off. So when the mask hangs from it, you know, it's easy to get to, um, but it's not in their way. So that's important and you can play with that depending on your kid. If they don't want it right here, um, then maybe you do want it a little bit longer. But again, you remember the, if they have to have them on quite often and this is a way for them to keep track of their mask and um, we don't want them dipping into their food or getting in the way of their schoolwork. So we want them kind of up a little bit higher. And this is where you can get fun. You can use three, three pieces of string or cords and band them, or you can just twist it so the colors kind of blend together. You can use your school colors or your favorite football team or baseball team, basketball team colors. Um, you can get really, really creative with this. So if this one, if I'm just twisting it, I would cut it at the other length that I want and attach my pacifier clip there. And then I have the ability to add my mask, just clipping anywhere. And that's actually why I had my lanyard on my neck because I was using it um, as a mask holder because with mask on and off, on and off, you want it always easily available. So I'm gonna just clip this one on even though I don't have it attached. and it can be right there. So um, another fun thing I started is this kind of t-shirt. So it almost looks like a scarf. So these are um, cords of t-shirt again, and then just made into small circles and tied together with another piece of t-shirt. And I could use that. I think that's a pretty good length. Then just take another piece of t-shirt, go through all my loops.
and tie a pacifier clip onto that. want to do a double knot. We don't want the kids to have to fuss with these. We want them when they're at school to be comfortable but not have to think about this again. <clears throat> Let's just do a double knot there. So I have my one pacifier clip or a suspender clip. If you don't want to call it pacifier clip, I know some kids might think, oh, pacifier clip. So we want to think about their what they can call it so they're comfortable. I'm gonna tie this one on. Oh. Um, these little strands that I'm tying um, that are throughout this whole scarf, um, you could add beads to it so you can really get very, very creative and let the kids make it so they're comfortable um, wearing it. And again, super comfortable on my neck very soft just made out of t-shirts and unclip this one So now I have it here, and when I'm ready, I just pull it up and pull it over. You know, this doesn't get in the way at all. I can just throw it out of my way. Um, and again, I have my nice fit because I made my other accessory that goes up and around my head. And when I decide to take it off, it's just there for the next time I want to use it. So super easy, DIY, have the kids get involved, things that you can find in your house, old t-shirts, they can have holes in them, they can have stains on them, you're never going to know once you cut them and make them into cords. And an old pair of jeans that have that elastic in there, we're just gonna cut that out and use that as well. And suspender clips. CDC guidelines say masks with, with at least two layers of fabric are most likely to reduce the spread of COVID-19. CDC also recommends people wear masks in public when they're around people that don't live in their household. They say children under the age of two or has trouble breathing should not wear a mask. So. I'm going to show you quickly how to just make a mask out of the rest of the t-shirt that we um, cut up for our earlier projects. So this is the sleeve of a t-shirt. I just cut along the seam and then if you open it up to have the seam right in the middle so that'll be kind of hidden. You're going to use that as well as another cord of our t-shirt that I cut along the bottom. And the way you do this is you just take your cord, loop it through your sleeve. And then you're gonna have to do this a couple times because you're going to have to ensure you have a good close fit. So the way it's going to work is just like this. So you're going to have to tie a knot and I want to tie a knot right about there. So again, I tied my knot. I'm just going to slip the mask now, two layer mask over my face. You have to do a little bit of adjusting. <clears throat> Make sure both layers are 
spread out so you have two layers. So it's going to fit nice and snug over the top of my face. And then I am going to tuck the bottom right up and under <clears throat> to give that nice kind of finished look. Okay, so it's nice and snug here, snug around my face, snug under my chin. And again, um, I can make this as tight or as loose as I can. It's important when you're picking fabric for a mask that you are able to breathe through it. Do not use vinyl. Um, the t-shirt is a very nice cotton um, t-shirt, so it's very easy to breathe through. So again, all you need is the sleeve of the t-shirt that we've already been cutting up for other projects. And you're going to slide your um, cord of t-shirt through and you have a mask. Simple. Wearing a face covering helps stop the spread of COVID-19 by providing a physical barrier. And saying that, it does not replace the need to keep up physical distancing, hand hygiene, and staying at home when not feeling well. Importantly, they should be washed properly. If you come in contact with an infected person, sorry, your mask could become contaminated by the virus particles and landing on it. So you do not want to handle your mask by touching the front. Um, you always want to grab it by the ear loops or if you made a mask accessory, it's a great way to grab it and slide it over your head. Make sure you're not touching the front of your mask when doing so. Cloth masks should be cleaned after every use. Importantly, if your mask gets wet, moist, or visibly dirty, it's time to take it off and put on a new one. A supply of masks will help you manage the cleaning process. Just having a few masks in a Ziploc bag for kids um, at school or daycare or when they're out um, is really important so they can change their mask as often as they need. And the number of masks you want to have in supply depends on how frequently you leave the house and how often they have to use them. If you happen to have a surgical mask or um, a medical mask, these are single use only. So they should not be laundered, cleaned, or reused. Washing masks is pretty straightforward. You can throw them in with your normal laundry, make sure to use detergent, and use the warmest temperature your setting, temperature setting your clothes can, and cloth can handle. There's no need to disinfect your wash. The detergent, um, you may want to use non-scented if you are sensitive to the smell of the detergent because it's going to be right up against your nose. Um, you can also use a bucket um, of very warm or hot water with a bleach solution and let that soak for about 10 minutes and then um, rinse it very well, the mask very well, and lay it flat to dry. What's very important if you're going to hand wash it is after you put the mask in the solution, wash your hands, then take it out and after it's soaked for 10 minutes and rinse it very, very well with um, warm water. And then wash your hands again before you are putting it out to dry. Washing your hands to make sure the mask does not get recontaminated is really, really important during that process. Um, if it remains visibly dirty, it might be time to throw it in with your laundry. Um, the washing machine sometimes does a better job at getting those stains out. Um, the important thing is to use a detergent. So whether it's in the washing machine or by itself, we want to make sure we're using it warm water and a detergent and not just putting it in with water. A wet cloth uh, face cloth is not affected for use. So after you laundered it, make sure it is completely dry before you use it again. Um, it's also very important if your mask does not fig, fit snugly to your face or has lost its shape, if there's tears or holes or the material is wearing thin, or if it frequently falls down from your nose it's, and you have to keep adjusting it and the um, strap that you made to adjust it is not doing the trick, it's time to get a different mask. So just throw those masks away. Don't try to keep reusing them. And when putting on a fresh mask, make sure you wear it properly. Ensure it covers your mouth and nose. Um, it should be snug up here over your nose again and snug 
under the chin um, and it should not be moving around unnecessarily so you have to excessively touch it. Um, it's for year, the 4-H team leader for Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rensselaer County. We can't hear you. Thank you. <laughs> so on our um, website, we will have this PowerPoint up recorded. Um, it might take a couple days because they'll go ahead and put closed captioning on there. I'm going to just share my screen one more time. Um, and oh, so um, I have some resources here, curriculum on how to sew a button. If that is helpful, please know that any reference to brands or businesses is not an endorsement. It's just for educational purposes only. Um, I'll have my email there if you have any questions. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, um, under CCE Rensselaer County and Rensselaer County 4-H. Uh, next Thursday, we'll be continuing this back to home basics with composting. And the following Thursday, October 15th, will be how to find wildlife. Um, so if you wanna join those. But at this point, is there, is there any questions or is there anything that I could help you with? Um, I brought one more accessory that my son and I did in a 4-H meeting, um, and it's again just using these suspender clips, pacifier clips, um, with a cool Minecraft, because he loves gaming, um, ribbon, and we just sewed those, and um, he wears that almost every day with a different mask. So it makes it very easy um, for him to keep track of it. Because if not, I know we would be hunting for masks at every step of the way. Does anybody have any questions? Just a comment that I, I love the button idea for those of us who wear hearing aids. It's perfect oh, okay. because it's a nightmare to have ribbon that have the elastics around your ears and trying to hear. And I don't like the ones that tie because they're a pain. This is a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. I have trouble um, hooking it around my ear too, just because of the shape of my ear. So um, I was really looking for something to keep the pressure off ears and, and little ears to have a mask on all day is just a lot to ask. So I think it's a, it's a good thing just to keep the pressure off their ears. Does anybody else have anything they'd like to add or ask? Well, like I said, my um, email will be posted with the recorded um, Zoom that we're doing tonight on the website at cceresler.org. And that will take a couple days, but if you um, have any questions from now and then, between now and then you can reach out to me. I'll quickly type my email in the chat. <clears throat> And if not, have a good night. Thank you.